Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of LME 3 Marv Copper and Aluminium. LME 3 Marv Copper. A shooting star pattern yesterday and third bullish white marabozo as well. And was more than a suitable follow-on higher to last week's weekly key reversal up. It was not obviously clear yesterday whether this would be a shooting star pattern type 1 bearish or type 2 bullish, but the strong performance seen last Friday favours it being a shooting star type 1 bullish, but we'll see when we get to the close of today. Prices drove higher yesterday through congestion at 81.77, as well as the flatlining short medium moving average, currently 81.99. However, the market met a brick wall overhead at the January 2021 high at 82.39 and pulled back down from there to close below the previously breached 81.77 congestion and the short medium moving average. <clears throat> the recently breached small descending triangle pattern, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart, has seen both primary and secondary targets reached, so I'll reduce the emphasis for this pattern. Overall, the market is still below and away from the overhead lower bull channel line, currently at uh, 88.35 of the August 2022 to August 23 move, and highlighted in gold on my daily chart, as well as the broken lower time, currently 83.18, of the September 22 to May 23 bullish shift pitch hole, highlighted in green on my daily chart. Though this latter one does have the benefit of the medium moving average, currently 83.21, mixing it in with it. Upon reflection, I think I will also reduce the emphasis on the bear channel above next time. Meanwhile, looking below, we have the Lesser Fibonacci line at 8016, which is a doorway to some recent congestion between 7960 to 8000, plus the October low at 7870, which is synchronous with the May low at 7867. So far today, well, a lower open, but after a dip that has so far not made it down to yesterday's low, we have seen a reactionary move back up towards a congestion at 81.77. LME three month aluminium. A second bullish white soldier yesterday and a nice follow on to the previous session's attempted key reversal up that didn't quite pan out. It was nevertheless the second consecutive close up over the short medium moving average, currently at 22.11, and the medium moving average, currently 22.08. In the process of moving higher, the market left behind a possible horn bottom formed over the last two weeks and a possible bow tie formation made from the short moving average, currently 2209, the short medium moving average and the medium moving average. The market itself rose up over the next overhead congestion of the late August to mid-September highs at 2260 but stalled at the congestion at 2267 and ended up closing in between the two. All this action during October has led to an interesting possibility. We are set up for a possible monthly key reversal for the month of October. So if we close tonight either over 2350 or under 2201, then we'll be on. Otherwise, anything in between will have the lesser outside month pattern. And right now, we are looking still at an outside month pattern. So far today, well, a slight or a lower open with a dip down that seemingly has not lasted that long. As prices were back up in the 2260 area, the previously mentioned highs of late August and mid-September. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.